guys, what's going on? My name is Dr. Frank, and in today's video, I want to talk to you a little bit about reframing your mindset when it comes to nicotine withdrawal. If this is something that you've been struggling with, I guarantee you today's video is going to help you out. If you're new to the channel, I'm the founder of Addiction Mindset Recovery Coaching Programs, which are dedicated to helping people quit things that I struggled with, nicotine, THC, energy drinks, and adult media content. When it comes to nicotine withdrawal, and if you've been on the channel before, you've probably already seen my videos about expectations over the course of the next three days, two weeks, month when you quit smoking or when you quit vaping. Most of the symptoms, the physical symptoms, are going to start to ramp up somewhere between days three to five. And most people who can get through the first three to five days, we always say here, get through 72 usually get past all the physical symptoms and have a much better chance at quitting than someone who, who continually relapses after the first three days. Now, I know that the first three days quitting can be really tough when you quit nicotine, right? You might start to get headaches. You might get constipation. You might be very, very irritable. You might have cravings that you're dealing with. And one of the things I like to remind people is nicotine withdrawal cannot hurt you. Let me repeat myself. Nicotine withdrawal cannot hurt you, okay? But on the flip side, let's say you're addicted to cigarettes. Let's say you're addicted to chewing tobacco, maybe even a lifelong addiction to vaping. That certainly has the potential to hurt you. Addiction in and of itself hurts, Right, Being addicted to something, giving it your time, giving it your energy, giving it your money, giving it all the thought that you give it day in and day out, 24 hours a day, that hurts. Addiction has a deep potential to hurt a person. And if you're watching today's video, there's a good chance that nicotine addiction is currently hurting you. Withdrawals, on the other hand, though, they can't hurt you. Let's be realistic about it. So you quit and you get a headache around 48 hours. Have you ever had a headache before? What did you do to get rid of it? Did you survive? Did you live? Well, you're here watching this video, so I'm going to guess you did, right? Uh, you're quitting and you get constipated and you can't deal with the constipation. Have you ever been constipated before? Or maybe you're having diarrhea. Have you ever had food poisoning before? Did life go on? Of course it did. You're sitting here watching this video. Maybe you're irritable in the first 72 hours or the first 48 hours into quitting nicotine. Very irritable because of those cravings. I'm irritable almost every day at one point or another throughout my day. That's nothing new. And so many people fail to quit because of these first three days, because of these first five days, getting through the nicotine withdrawal. And the reality is every single withdrawal symptom that you're facing is something that, you've that, that you have faced before in your life and have gotten through. And this is no different. Maybe you're experiencing a combination of symptoms all at once, making it a little more intense. But I guarantee you one thing, nicotine withdrawal can not hurt you, right? You're strong, nicotine addiction is weak, period. That's the mentality that you need to go into the first three days, the first five days, the first two weeks. I don't care how long it is. Big picture, what is three days, two weeks of a headache? What is a few days of being extra irritable? Who cares? Seclude yourself. It is what it is. But if you make a big deal of it, if you tell yourself that you can't get through it, that you're not capable of it, well, guess what? Then you're never going to quit. But on the flip side, ask yourself, are you really capable of maintaining this addiction to cigarettes, to vapes, to chewing tobacco, to snus. Are you capable of maintaining this addiction the rest of your life? I don't know. I think that's a hard thing. I, I think that's a, 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 I don't know. That's not a game that I would want to play, right? I know for a fact, though, that you are capable of getting through nicotine withdrawals. And you want to know how I know that even more? Because the only reason you're continuing to use nicotine 
is to push off the withdrawal symptoms when they set in every 30 minutes, every hour during your active nicotine addiction, right? If you smoke cigarettes or you vape and suddenly you can't hit your vape with throughout the day, what happens? You get irritable. You get a headache. You start to feel fatigued. You start to feel brain fog. The only reason you vape or smoke cigarettes is to offset the inevitable withdrawal symptoms that you already experience on a daily basis while you're stuck in active addiction. There's one way to end that. Get through the next 72 hours. Get through the next five days. Get through the next two weeks. And you can be done with this. You'll never have to worry about nicotine withdrawal again once you finally make that decision to quit. And I know 100% you're capable of it. Don't make a big deal of nicotine withdrawal because there's no need to. Nicotine withdrawal cannot hurt you. And there's a good chance you've experienced every single one of these symptoms before at one point or another in your life. And you made it here today. So I know you can get through to till tomorrow. I hope this video motivates you and gives you that little boost that you need to quit. Why don't you leave a comment below, drop today's date, the time that you watch this video, and let me know if today is the day that you've decided to quit using nicotine. I'll see you guys in the comments below.